Hello everybody, welcome back to European Stars 4 as Muscovy. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, I do notice we do actually have just a missionary doing nothing at all. Maybe we can convert? Never mind, it'll never be converted, so it's probably not worth the effort. So, we did get our claim against um, Kazan. They're right now only allied, as far as I can tell, to Crimea. Um... They're allied to Uzbek as well. Where's Uzbek? Uzbek's actually right here. They can, we can barely see into their territory. But like, am I worried about Uzbek so much? I don't really think I am. You're also fully on military attack 3. We don't like each other. But we know Crimea is not going to be a threat in this war. You know, let's bring you a little bit closer. We still definitely have the numbers necessary to, I think, defeat them. I would like more generals. It's going to cost us 100 military points to do that. But we did change our national focus over. So you know what? Let's make our king into a general. He's a 1-3-1-1. And as you are also... You're basically garbage. But we'll keep you along for now. We'll put our king in charge. We will put our other basically horrible ruler. But he does have a siege pip. So I guess that's okay. Also, yeah. Let's switch you guys around. The Grand Ball in Moscow. Um, 10 prestige, 21 ducats. How much prestige do I have? I have 31. Gives me a little bit of power projection. You know what? Let's arrange the ball. Long time rivals, conquered provinces. Like, we're doing pretty well. If you have, due to having 50 power projection, you get plus one of everything. I don't know what we get for being at 100. Yeah, because I want you to be able to move into their capital. Probably, like, right away. They're going to go boom, boom, boom into these three provinces. Do they have any other forts that I can uh, see? They have one fort there. They might not have any forts other than in their capital. You also have a gold province, which I would not mind uh, to take. By the way, for our mission, what actually do we need? It's owned by Muscovy, so we got to take it over. So we got to at least do one war for that. We also do some policies, but we can't do anything here quite yet. And we can't do ideas, we get level 5. Okay, that is okay. So I think we just go to war with you. We have no diplomats to send. You know what? Fair enough. Yeah, we and we don't need you anymore to build a spy network, because we already got the claim that we cared about. Cossack aggression! We lose the opinion of Lithuania. We lose one base tax. And we get a uh, cost belly against Lithuania. We're not going to be pushing that claim. I really don't think it's worthwhile. So, Muscovy. I think we just declare war. We also actually have... Perm actually has some cores in here as well. So I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind taking that from them. 25 against expansion for core return. So you're 100% for everything. Take capital. We get more prestige for core rest. Uh, well, the thing is, is do we want to... We can't do core return from you at all. And we also cannot conquest provinces. We definitely don't want to do humiliation. I think we... Because you're, you're just a base cost. 100, 100, 100. Let's actually do the core claim for... Um, for you. We do have more allies. We do have more troops than they do. So we're going to confirm the war for taking core. Just because that should give us a slightly cheaper um thing here. Do I know how many troops you have? You have 15,000? Okay, I can see your 15,000 troops. They're immediately retreating out. Which I think is good for us. You guys move up here. And again, like, there's no way I can just control your troops, right? Great power. I can influence you, but that doesn't do much, I think, for me right now. Yeah, no, okay. So we can't really do much with you at the moment. You have 49% here. What are you going to do? Because if you're also just going to siege provinces down for me... 
That does help me out. You guys have gone to the north, the north which isn't a huge surprise. Yeah, we gain 42 ducats. We lose autonomy Novgrod. The burgers get a little bit less, a little bit upset. Yeah, I, I don't really care about the burgers as much. We can have privileges to them. But I mean, nobody seems upset at the moment. Here we got some troops coming in from Uzbek. Yeah, let's move guys closer towards the front lines here. Who are you? No guy. Oh, you're probably providing military access. Oh no, Crimea did get military access through you. Which is unfortunate. Okay. Move our troops here. We gotta, of course, stop this. We're not seizing our capital right now. It would suck to lose it, of course. And do we already have a taking wars for against us? Yes, unfortunately. But we do want to be moving in this direction. Where are you going? Are you coming to fight me? No. So let's move up towards Perm. We do have some money, and I can build eight troops. Can't build all these guys, though. We have no manpower. We have, like, we have a thousand manpower. So we want to be reducing casualties, if at all possible. Okay, well, now I cannot avoid this battle. Who else who's in charge here? You're the 004. We got to put in the 1-3. Like, he's just going to be better for us in this situation. You have 5,000 troops coming in for reinforce. We've gotten you occupied. So, you know what? You come here. And once we take Perm, we should get a boost. Once we take over this, we should get a boost as well. You now have a positive percentage to actually take this. Which, of course, we're hoping doesn't happen. We're at a 5% boost. Try and think, like, what? Like, I don't want to lose my territory, obviously. That doesn't uh, go well with our plans. We should be able to kill you pretty, pretty easily. We got 0.2 out of that. Quite nice. So now we're at 17%. Because, would you be willing to do, like, a peace offer already? No, you'll, you don't even want to do a white piece yet. Length of war in your military strength. Yeah, we'll get some more authority. We're going to send these troops down south to kind of deal with Crimea. What I can do, actually, uh, where is it in here? Yes, if you can attach to my army so we can go kill Crimea, that'd be awesome. We are worried about you guys in the north. Yes, join my army. Will you leave if I move troops in this direction? We did get some points there. You're actually retreating into the middle of the jungle. Not the jungle, the forest, I should say. You know, let's take these provinces back. They haven't taken the city. They've just taken the city. And they're immediately retreating back out. So, I mean, it sucks that we lost this city, but we should be able to get it back soon. Yeah, and if they're retreating backwards, that is good for us. I wouldn't mind just annexing the entirety of uh, Kazan if I could. Who's down here, actually? Wait, who's this? I mean, I apparently have siege it down. I don't even know what I did to siege it down. Let's have like, somebody actually go down there and kill it for me, which is actually quite nice. Okay, so you've now been unoccupied. Who's actually the war leader here? It is Kazan. Oh, Kazan. You made it all too easy. How many troops are actually defending this, this uh, garrison? 253. 
cannot bombard. We cannot assault without breaching the, the walls. I mean, it sucks. Like, how much is that actually penal penalizing us? It's a negative 5.8. Lithuania is now considered a great power. Who else is a great power? Um, I know it's in here somewhere. Do you? I mean, we're actually considered fifth. So we got Ming, France, the Mamluks, the Ottomans, Muscovy, uh, the Janigar, Castile, and Lithuania. Nobody's hedging quite yet. Hopefully one day we can actually get there. Also, as you can see, apparently we got some rebel issues going on in this territory, which is awesome. Kazan is fully occupied as far as I can tell. Who's back? You want to get out of this war? I can't demand anything from you. And I know you're back here, but I really don't have much... I don't have really much interest fighting you. Mostly because I've had to walk into the Terra Incognita, which does take a long time. So we're just going to send you a peace deal. Which basically means that this front is now completely protected. We can send all of our troops back home. And Crimea. Would you also like to just kind of end your war? You don't want to. Even though half your country is occupied at the moment, you really don't have any interest in just giving up, huh? And they have 7,000 troops over here trying to siege down this port, this uh, fortress. Kazan. Kazan, Kazan, Kazan. Well, we can return core to Parm. What if I gave Perm? I mean, I have a claim here. How much territory could I take? Novgorod, I mean, Novgorod already doesn't like us. If we were to get 100%, we could take, like, a decent chunk of this territory. Now we have a claim here. And what would be the what would just be like the best territory to take? Like, can I see what your trade goods are? You have wheat. Iron seems pretty good. Dairy. I mean, wheat's worth more than dairy. I mean, of course, we want your capital. So you know, we'll take your capital. Take let's say these two provinces. Perm's already going to you. You are gold, and that would be nice. But we might as well fight to 100%. Lose the or lose prestige. Um, that's a lose a little bit of prestige. I think that's fine. I mean, nobody's down here. Perm is sending some divisions down, which I do appreciate. I guess not divisions, they're like regiments. Still. They are sending some divisions down south. Send you up here as well, because apparently the Novgorod uh, Separatist not super happy with the way things are going right now. Your ports... Wait, who owns this? I guess I guess these are considered my, uh, my ports, even though they're not really my ports, all things considered. Would this cross a river? It would. That would not, I think. Okay, so my allies are here. Now, if you're willing to help me fight off this rebellion, I would appreciate that. Yeah, I know we're at war. Where even is Quasim? I'm not too, too sure. Okay, Kazan, I know we want to offer some peace deals, but right now, probably not going to accept it. We are actually taking a lot of casualties here. But it could have been worse. We'll send you guys here. We'll send you here. Kazan has returned. So you know what, Kazan? I feel like this is going to be an okay time for us to end this war. So Perm's going to take what it wants. I want these two provinces. I think I wanted this one. I can get 85. But I did want the capital.
Can't take 89. We can take these ones and maybe a little bit of money. Yeah, I, I feel like that's a pretty okay piece deal. It's gonna be 86. 43% overextension. It costs 211 to make it all cores. We have enough points for that. And we did kill more than we lost. And I would say that is an okay uh, number. And you got your core back. Quite lovely. We fulfilled our mission. To tame the steps. And of course, what did we get? We got significantly more claims. That would have been, you know, useful before, but... Subdicates of Kassan, which we're going to do... Soon-ish. Hopefully before 1500. I would like to get that done. And I know we have the claims, but I don't think the claims matter too, too much. Uh, overextension, yes. Well, that's only core things right now that actually are causing overextension. The other territory, again, it would be nice to have. But I don't know if it's that important. Oh, we do have a hunter uh, power projection. Which doesn't actually give you any other bonuses. I see, I guess we do have unit prestige, forward defense, legitimacy, bunch of morale, global trade power. Everything's going up pretty well, I would say, for the Mus uh, Muscovites. Perm separatist. Eh. Not too worried about those guys. You are still losing a little bit of money. So for right now, let's cut maintenance down a little bit here. Fort maintenance is quite high. Um, so we'll turn off some of it. We'll turn off at least two of these forts. I mean, we're probably not going to go to work Kazan anytime soon. So we'll turn off these three forts for now. We have seven forts, which is quite expensive. And Novgorod... Kind of exist. Do you have any other allies? The answer is no. You really, really, really don't like us. I guess we'll rival Lithuania. Even though I don't want to be rivals with them, I prefer to be in a more of a uneven relationship with them at the moment. At least until I can become a uh, major, major player in the world stage. We have not embraced the Renaissance. Institution will receive increased technology cost of 1% up to 50%. Not ideal. I, I don't really know how you even embrace the, uh, the Renaissance. So what do we have right now? We have lower unrest, higher taxes... The modifier's here. Really prestige plus one for... Yeah, you know what? We'll take that. Our manpower really needs to recover right now. 220 per month is not fantastic. We'll sit back, let this kind of build up. And also get some more military tech. Because I have a feeling if we were to look at... Um... What would it be under? Would it be under diplomatic? Rivals, victory cards, no. Political. Technology. As you can tell, like, Perm... Perm is actually at 4444. We are slowly falling behind. We haven't gotten a single technology yet. Whereas most other people have. I don't know if I had that much money for it. And we're getting to see a lot of prestige from our one event we just got. So I'm okay with this. In the institutions... Yeah, the Renaissance has appeared over here in Genoa. And slowly that'll kind of start making its way over here. I've noticed that I'm dark green. I don't know if that's bad or if it just means that I'm the player. Yes, yeah, so we will, in course, take military power. Which is nice. Poland and Teutonic Order actually want to hire some units. So we could send some troops over there to help them out. And again, I mean, what's prestige? I'm okay losing the prestige. Because again, we're getting um, decent growth from nas uh, National Epic. So you guys, who are you at war with? You're at war with each other. 
And you're likely to hire the uh, soldiers. Break alliance. How do I... Yeah, you. If I was oh, set over, let's say, 7-1. You'd buy them at 3.2 ducats a month. You'd buy you at 6 and 4. I mean, that's pretty good. They'll pay the total amount of the first 18 months, 116.64 up front. And that's for... I mean, do I want a week in Poland? The answer is, like, probably... You're allied to Brandenburg. Brandenburg's not in the war. But would Poland offer a better price? Uh, da 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 da. I just, we were just on the screen. There they are. Would you would you take them for more? You would pay a little bit more for them. You're paying 1.7 times the maintenance cost. So I wonder, is it worth it? Should I send them some troops? I mean, killing Sweden and um, Denmark. Also, I'll give you. I will give you military access. It does seem useful for us. We can also build buildings. We can build some castles. Local trade power. Castles of fort level plus two. Or is this a church? Yeah, no, I don't care about you. Tax modifier. Who has a lot of taxes right now? Novgorod, but I cannot build there. Because I don't have the technology. Then why even allow me to click the button? I don't understand. And do you? I think I also do not have the technology required. So never mind. Why let me click if I cannot do anything there? But I do think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thanks for watching my answer. If you've enjoyed, remember thumbs up. If you enjoy, close thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.